Um, before I even get to the article, of course, I'm always sending my love and condolences to anyone that's lost anyone because we've all lost somebody and it hurts. All right. And, uh, and on that note, our love and condolences still to J Master J's family, friends, fans, associates, inspirees, mentees, etc. So a uh, man is charged with killing J Master J and he is to face trial. He has allegedly admitted to the murder. Okay. Mm -hmm. So prosecutors now say that they have evidence implicating Carl Jordan Jr. in the murder of Jam Master J. The evidence the prosecutors plan to submit in the murder trial is actually an alleged confession by Jordan himself. A witness says Jordan admitted to the crime in a conversation. Jordan and Ronald Washington were charged with the murder of Jam Master J. And uh, who was ever, well, they put it in the article, but if you don't know, he's run DMC member. All right. The J.M. Master J murder trial is set to begin February 20th of next year. So everybody make sure you keep your eyes out, ears open. If convicted, Jordan and Washington face up to life in prison. And they don't have to go in uh, wit set or something. They gonna, they have to, man, if they really did it and they really, man, I, I don't know what prison they gonna put them in. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. if they're being held up in New York. Look, it's some COs that ain't even go, listen, man, just hey. I'll tell you what, man. Um, when we think about the um, hip hop pioneers that have, or rappers, I don't like to say everybody's pioneers because they're not. No, okay? they're not. Facts. Um, or everybody's legendary because they're not. But I am going to say Jam Master J, okay? Jam Master J is influential to this very platform. Our logos are in the fashion of Run DMC. It's inspired by that. So that means this here um, platform, AkronHipHop.com, is the foundation of hip hop and we reflect it every day. Big ups to Jam Master J for all that he represented, okay? Okay, so, there is none higher. So, so you better stop uh, calling me. Right? <laughs> right man. Let me see. So, um, so let's just talk about some of the um, rappers and DJs, people in the culture that had died a violent death. And hopefully this brother is going to get the justice he deserves. Because we know a lot of brothers is not going to get the justice right. because of the culture that they're coming from, no snitching and all this foolishness and everything. Right. So uh, right off the bat, of course, Jam Master J, that hurt me, man. Yeah, that, that was, that, was a... that hit harder than, I hate to say it, that hit harder than Tupac for me. That hit harder. Yeah, because he went back further. Yeah, because why, why, oh, you know, why you telling my age? Why you telling my age? No, but I mean, even for me, it's like that's some of the first... Right, my music. Hip hop that you really got exposed to, you know, outside of the, you know, the hip, the hop, you right. know what I mean? I was, you know, yeah, that's what you yeah. So it's some of the first like street hip hop. It wasn't just. And a, you know, he, you know, he was the element to put the street around them. See, you see, a lot of people didn't know that Jam Master J, the way they dress, that's Jay's dress code. With the Godfather hat, the ideas with no laces and stuff. Yeah, Jay brought that in. Okay. Run DMC. I can show you a, a picture of Run DMC how they was looking before Jay stepped in, okay? And then when Jay stepped in, that's his, that's his whole swag. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. um, hey, big ups to them. And hopefully his family get the justice that they deserve and the hip hop get the justice they, that they deserve. And some other people, can y'all think of some more people that Nip. died violently? Yeah. Nipsey. Yeah. Yeah, Nipsey, Nipsey had some. That's yeah. terrible, man. And, it, and he's, uh, to my understanding right now, his um, killer, is up on it's happening right now, right? They're in court, yep. yes, or we just missed out. I don't know. Um, that hit hard too. That was, yeah, that hit right. hard the way that brother got killed. I yeah. mean, broad daylight like that yeah. at, at a at a uh corner, well, storefront, mall front. His he, own, no, he helped revitalize, yeah, yeah, his old strip, man. So, yeah. a strip mall, there, yeah, that's a better word to say it. Um, strip yeah. mall, and that's and he revitalized that. So, that was just the, the level of disrespect. What about you, Sean? You got somebody here, um, Tom? Only person I can. I'm Tupac. I'm just a right, right. I, That's good. You gotta say it though. I was pregnant, you know, when when he died. I was pregnant. I was like, <sighs> yeah, it was like, honestly Tupac. with Tupac. This is, you know, why, you know, why. And I'm gonna be honest. Besides the fact that I'm like, yo, I remember being little and listening and getting to hear Run DMC the first time when my uncle bought the album vinyl. The what now? The album on wax. You got wax. I got, I you do. got a collection. I do. I you got everything. I got, no. you got Ice Cube. I want to brag, but I will. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got Prince. Uh, you know. Yes, you the, do. Yes. But no, but besides, that was, but here's the thing. Tupac, we heard about Tupac getting shot 
what, three, four times? Tupac got, oh, again? Right. He gonna make it. So the natural assumption when you heard that Tupac got shot, the last time he got shot, was that he was, gonna, he was gonna make it out and it was just going and now we're gonna have another fire album to come behind it so it was it was the which is why we have the whole machiavelli theories that are going mm-hmm. behind tupac's really not daddy in cuba um what do you mean in cuba that's why you told him to call you <laughs> <laughs> right so, i was signed mc personally okay so no that's where he is but apparently allegedly right so, but that everybody just felt like when you heard Jam Master Jay happened, it was no. Somebody came up into the, in the studio and, and, just, yeah, like, and oh, murdered him. And it's not to say that like, Tupac wasn't murdered, he was too, but it was just like, yo. This is crazy. This isn't he wasn't even talking got, like that. Yeah. That's not even his style. That's not even, yeah. In front of people, though. Yeah, because, okay, yeah, yeah, like, because I knew him yeah. so much he personally. Was, yeah, he yeah. was a street element. He had a street yeah. element in him and stuff. But like, what a lot of people don't know about the late, great Jam Master Jay is um, he was a hustler. Okay, um, like I said, he was that street element that made Run DMC so dope. But here's what's so dope is a lot of people don't know Jam Master J is responsible for Onyx. Okay, he was working with 50 Cent at the time. He came through there, all that, all that. So he was doing a lot of different things with the Afros and all these different folks. So he was literally um, a record label exec. He owned JMJ Records through Def Jam, which was a RAL, a Russian Associated label. Big up to Jam Master J and everything. And you said that. I can keep going. We can go in this the yeah. sad part. We can keep naming a whole okay. bunch of rappers that got dealt with like that up until we went from Jam Master J immediately to uh, Nipsey Hustle, then back to, to Tup- Tupac. To go a little bit forward to say Biggie. Right. Then we can go further to what's happening now. Right. These rappers we, are killing themselves you, now, which what um, we're talking so about. Pop smoke. Right. Uh, uh, what was that, it? That, uh, that, that, Access, Triple Access, Yeah. Uh, what was the one kid that got killed? Just and they had they, yeah, that, that young man. No, yeah. what, um, the, the young man that got killed at the donut shop part. The car. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, dog, dog. Young, young dog. dog. Yeah. Dog too. See, see, but you know what? And this is, it's a, this is crazy, because right with the names we just named, we named rappers that got killed by rappers and rappers that got killed by jealous dudes or impressionable dudes that's walking and living this lifestyle, this foolishness. Yeah, because recipes pop smoke because it was his own crew that got him set up and he was feeding everybody. Allegedly. 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 Because a lot of people believe he was on social media and he showed the address while he was out there in Cali. He he literally showed his address and they saw it and then later on came into the crib they was at. Allegedly. Which which was supposed to have happened with PNB, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the was, right. They, yeah. Okay, um, this is something for everybody to think about. Now we were just talking about uh, the things with uh, Ye, and then we were talking about the metaverse rapper. Now we're talking about um, what's going on now. Just keep in mind that um, we need to really be um, thinking about what our kids is doing when they're getting into this business and with the rapping and how it influences our community, period. I think everybody should really be paying attention to that because while we're sitting here thinking and um, while we're sitting here talking, all I keep thinking about is how that hip hop went from hip hop to rap. Now it's gangster rap. Now it's just- Drill rap. Yeah, uh, uh, and it's straight up just taking our community Black is beautiful community. It's just taking us further and further and further and further into not even knowing who we are or where we come from or what we are about. All that talent that our young folks have, now all they want to talk about is, I'm getting the the, uh, the baddest chick, the biggest car, the biggest gun, I'm you know, getting the money on the key. All I want to do was party and sashay and not even understanding that truthfully, you so talented, you don't even really realize what you about or who you are, and then you are feeding into your own community the foolishness. But see, but here's the thing. They don't know. All they know is foolishness begets foolishness begets foolishness, okay? There's no reason for you, black woman. There's no reason for you, black woman, at y'all's age, and even you, black woman, at your age, to be walking around on social media with your ass out. Because your little black girl, your little black girl is seeing that. 
There's no reason for you to get a damn record deal with your ass out and say, I want to be repping like that. See, but you have no choice, little black woman. If you see Trina, Nicki Minaj, and little Kim and all these people with their ass out, they have to think, if I'm going to get a record deal, I got to mimic this. This is what's hot. And I dare to say, if the talented girl at this point comes out, okay, and she got the lyrics and got everything, the executive going to throw a thong up her ass anyway, because that's what they want to sell. It's proven that it will sell, but that's what they want to sell. Because I come from a day where tomboys used to rap. Yeah, MC Light. That's, what, that's my and, favorite. And, 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 yeah. and they wouldn't, they, you wouldn't dare Boss. see these girls. Yeah, you better say it, Def Jam West. You better say it. Um, but you wouldn't dare see our sisters like that. Put your clothes back on, except when you're in the house with your husband. You better yeah, you, me. there used to be something about that it was going out and looking, you know, a certain way and put together. Like, it's, you could look sexy without. When I look Wearing like a, a song, a like, and that's just the fact. The strip culture is here. Yeah, the strip okay, culture. And, and it ain't because it's and it's been here. It's been yeah, here, but it ain't been as open it's as marketed. Yeah, yeah. they've been in marketing. the rap music. And then some people say, if it wasn't up, I mean, Lucy Campbell ushered that in. No, <laughs> no, he ain't had one female rapper dressed like that. He had dancers and background dancers dressed like that. The talent wasn't there. That he just brought the strip club to the thing. Okay. And yeah, he, but he didn't have rappers. They was rapping kind of crazy, like two so and stuff like that. Yeah, they, that's what they brought. Like they had the parts. It was, it was the down south up to party. just be not be paid and just to be around there acting ratchet on stage. Ooh. So man, so I'm waiting right Shout now, out to and I know there's some good MCs out there, good rappers out there that you can see. You won't see a major. You won't see the major lyrical girl like Bahamadia, the new up and coming Lady of Rage. You won't see that. Matter of fact, I would like to think the Lady of Rage was possibly the last one with her damn clothes on. And I know I'm just vague, but I'm that's a more, the most popular rapper female with her clothes on. Am I missing somebody? The brat. Yeah. The brat. Yeah, yeah. 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 Tomboy, yeah. yeah. Uh, regardless, she was beautiful. She's, we've seen her, I I seen her in one I video. I've seen her in the video and I've seen her on the, um, with her ass out before. I yeah, seen but her. I'm just saying that to say. that wasn't her. That was her M.O. Yeah. That was that just was her letting it. people know what she was working with. But yeah. I really believe it was her, especially now, if it's just me, correct me if I'm wrong. I believe the Little Kims, the Foxy Browns, and and um, the, 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 the well, them dollars, the Gangsta Boo, and all these people making it so hot at the time, Little Brad had to remind you, hold on, I am all female, don't get me wrong. Right. I believe, I don't know if it was her or the executives, but the way she was going, and obviously her ultimate trajectory, let's because she's in a she's a she like women. Yeah, right she's now. engaged. Yeah, right. She's like she women. Married. And so like, you oh, know, they, yeah, and, she's, and, she's, yeah. I, and she's like the typical tomboy rapper, right? Yeah. So I don't know if she went outside of her nature to do that, but um, it could have been um, said that she was asked to do that. She's comfortable in her skin. Yeah. She's beautiful. Big up to her, that song with her and Tyrese, because that's the song we're talking about. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm thinking about her left eye, too. The left, left yeah. eye, she, she was never naked. Over the top. Missy like Elliott, right. too. Missy Elliott. What? Missy Elliott was, she was not, she didn't dress. I'm sorry. I, 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 I was she upset at Missy. She was a dark skinned Put it like this. Missy was the first one I noticed that had the bam, 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 bam without all the fake stuff. I love and, Missy. I'm like, she's on the list. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. Well, I keep what I was about to say to myself. Yeah, but don't she's say it. definitely don't talented. Don't too she's definitely talented. Bad about Missy. I ain't going to say nothing bad about <laughs> Missy. <Wow. laughs> Leave Miss alone. Missy. All right. So look, though, I, I do like the, the overall thread. I think that we have to hold ourselves to a higher standard and not just accept the marketed music that's out there. We have Apple Music. There's YouTube. There's too many st streaming services, SoundCloud, for you to be able to choose what it is that you're listening to and what artists you're hearing. You do not. And, and if we stop and turn off and stop with the mainstream, the mainstream will, will catch on to ours. They'll reroute because they want to be able to tap into the finance stream. And that's what it's all about. That's all I'm saying. Tune in with the usual suspects. If you don't like it, add a comment. Okay. But if nothing else, keep watching because otherwise we'll be.